Yeah. Yeah. But you know, if you're not married and you live there, you're fine because you're always with your boo. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Who are you with? My boo. Well, I'm with my he, boo. He plays here every night, five, every six, night. and ten. Yep. <laughs> and tip the your waiters, on, yeah. tip your waiters and tip waiters. Your waiters on the way out. Jokes on you. You're stuck with me, at least <laughs> as far as I know. We'll talk to my now. boss after this. Let's take a look what's happening. And we want to point out that you know we are laughing at that story here, and we did have some strong, two severe storms in parts of North Texas. And I want to point out down towards the south and the east, we still have a severe thunderstorm warning holding together right now for parts of Limestone and Freestone County. A lot of the activity though is starting to push its way down towards the south and east. So still seeing some pockets. Of some heavy rain, and that severe thunderstorm warning is until about 6:30. But I'm noticing that a lot of the strongest activity is continuing to travel its way down towards the south and the east. But the whole entire complex is drifting its way from the southwest to the northeast. I kind of sliced the storm a bit so you can see the tops of the thunderstorms all the way up above 60,000 feet. So we might see some elevated, maybe rotation with this, but nothing is really reaching the surface as far as any uh, warnings are concerned as far as circulation. But still seeing some strong areas of rain pushing its way out. Uh, Closer towards Anderson County, Palestine right now, you do have some heavier rain, but not under a severe thunderstorm warning. So there's the potential also of maybe some penny size hail to nickel size hail in some of these storms. The Metroplex, we are remaining nice and dry. And we had that small chance we could see some showers and storms near us, but a lot of the activity we knew was going to be east of the Metroplex where it's falling right now and happening right now. So continue to track these storms. Making their way east, and that's where that slight risk of severe storms remains in effect to about seven to eight o'clock tonight for 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts and golf ball to tennis ball size hail. So we'll continue to track these storms on the future sky forecast through the remainder of the late afternoon to early evening hours as the dry line is continuing to push its way to the east. Uh, this is overdoing it just a bit for maybe a little bit more activity between eight to nine, but dry air is already in place. And uh, in Metroplex, I think we're good. The cold front is going to pass its way on through overnight, and then we're going to be seeing temperatures dropping their way down into the low 60s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. But there still is a severe thunderstorm watch until 10 o'clock. I won't be surprised to see some of these west counties get shaved off of this severe thunderstorm watch because of the dry air that is in place and the frontal boundary that will push its way on in. But look at this. Temperatures really warmed up late in the day because of the dry air and the mixing going on. It's 87 at Love Field, 87 in Fort Worth to 86 in Denton with the dry line just approaching parts of the Metroplex or hanging out. We're at 86 in Addison to 87 in Azle right now, but a little bit further to the east, Heath and Mesquite in the low 80s where you don't have the real dry air that's pushed its way on in, seeing a dew point of 70 in Rowlett right now while it's 45 in Bridgeport. That indicates the really dry air that is in place. So highs today warmed their way up. Actually at DFW, our high reached 89 degrees thanks to that dry line getting very close to us. The average high should be 82. And you can see right now with the Dallas Skycam, that mix of sun and clouds on the way. We're at 88 still at DFW. Tomorrow's forecast showing cooler air on the way. We make it up to about 79 to near 80 degrees. And then after that, seven day forecast shows some cooler air uh, for Saturday morning, 58 by Sunday. Seeing 88 degrees back to 90 by Monday. Rain chances, uh, Tony, about 20 to 30% going to, to next Tuesday.